Through a competitive application process, the National Recreation and Park Association recognizes a park and recreation agency that expands access to low parks and all their benefits to everyone in the community, especially underrepresented groups through innovation. When it comes to innovation, Hillsboro Parks and Recreation is the best. Its deep commitment can be seen daily at the Leslie Les Miller Jr. All People's Community Park and Life Center, a facility that serves people with disabilities, inspires all, and is home to Hillsborough County Adaptive Sports. This program, which serves veterans and residents with disabilities, has blossomed to include 300 athletes enjoying 26 sports, including wheelchair basketball, adaptive archery, and adaptive swimming. But just like the athletes they serve, Hillsborough County Adaptive Sports has elevated and expanded its game, landing one of nine spots in the first USA Wheelchair Football League. Our team's name should be familiar to everybody, the Buccaneers. The program was created to provide access to football, increase competitive sport opportunities, and serve veterans. Most team rep members represent minorities. The program is 100% free, removing financial barriers some players face. In addition, HAS has 50 wheelchairs for athletes who cannot afford to purchase their own. Though designed for competitive athletes with a desire to travel, the program held multiple open tryouts in the community for players who wanted to participate recreationally without engaging in travel. The program has had a tremendous impact outside field of play and has generated new volunteer opportunities for people with and without disabilities to serve the team through coaching and support. Another innovative technique was the utilization of partnerships to help remove financial barriers and underrepresented segments of the population. Grant funding covers the cost of equipment and travel for athletes and coaches. The NFL Tampa Bay Buccaneers enhanced the program by supplying branded gear and social media marketing to communicate service to a wider audience. The league is backed by the Tampa Bay Sports Commission, which supplies funding and helps create additional relationships. Further, the James Haley Veterans Hospital and Wounded Warriors Ability Center enhance outreach efforts to enable the program to reach even more veterans. For these fabulous accomplishments and many others, the National Recreation and Parks Association honored Hillsborough County Parks and Recreation with its Innovation in Social Equity Award. Mr. Valdez, this is amazing. This program has enhanced the quality of life for so many people and provided numerous other opportunities for players, the county, and community to connect with each other. This is what public service is about. We congratulate you and are thrilled on this tremendous accomplishment for your department. So please say a few words and, and again, congratulations. Thank you, Commissioner Cohen, and thank you to all the Board of Commissioners. This award is most important to us because equity is at the center of all we do, and we strive for a future where everyone has fair, just access to quality parks and recreation opportunities. And we are so fortunate to serve a Board of Commissioners that shares this belief and provides the support we need to reach our goals. We have the best executive team in the country, starting at the top with County Administrator Bonnie Wise, Deputy County Administrator Greg Hordo, and my Assistant County Administrator Dexter Barge. They are the absolute best at what they do, and I am blessed to have them as leaders above me. And my staff, this is all because of their hard work and passion. I have the absolute most well-rounded team I ask for, so thank you for this moment.